and welcome to the Orthodox View, where we discuss latest religious news from an Orthodox Christian perspective. I am its host, Philip Champion. The Russian Orthodox Church will provide assistance to all victims of the explosion in the Orthodox Gymnasium in the area of the Vedinsky Vladichny Convent in Serpukhov. The explosion on the territory of an Orthodox Gymnasium was set off on December 13th by a graduate of this school. Thirteen people were injured, including the terrorist himself. The young man had already come to his senses in the hospital and said that the reason for the crime was not bad relations with the teachers, but rather, I quote, a desire to kill people. According to the eyewitnesses of the explosion, there could have been many more victims. However, during the attack, the door jammed in the classroom where the morning prayer was going on. So the attacker, no matter how hard he tried, was not able to get inside. The explosion in the Serpovov Monastery is already the third terrorist attack at educational institutions in Russia in 2021. In May, a 19-year-old young man started shooting at the school that he graduated from in Kazan. Nine people died and 23 people were injured. In September of the same year, a student at the Perm State National Research University opened fire at his colleagues. As the result of the attack, eight people were killed and about 30 were injured. A famous Academy Award-winning actor Denzel Washington has given an interview to the American newspaper New York Times on the eve of the release of the movie Macbeth, in which he plays the main role. The actor devoted most of the interview to the Christian faith. He said that for him, faith is an anchor. This is spiritual warfare, so I'm not looking at it from an earthly perspective. If you do not have a spiritual anchor, you will be easily blown by the wind and you will be led to depression. Washington, who described himself as a God-fearing man, talked a lot about God and the Bible and spoke of the importance of helping our neighbors. The Oscar-winning actor also shared his take on the Last Judgment, explaining that there will be two lines, a long and a short one. He added that he is interested to be in the short line. Washington later surprised the New York Times journalist by advising him to read the Bible. He suggested starting with the New Testament, because the Old Testament, according to the actor, is more difficult. On December 12th, the great Russian priest and traveler Fyodor Konyukhov turned 70 years old. In an interview with the Russian news agency Lenta.ru, he spoke about the upcoming travels and the beauty of the world. Father Fyodor Konyakov noted that having visited all continents, all oceans and seas, and more than 185 countries, he had never seen anything ugly. Everything in nature is beautiful, he says. Exhibitions of his paintings are regularly held throughout Russia. As Father Konyakov says, the beauty of God's world resonates with people. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Traveling is, of course, the main activity of Father Konyakov's life. Despite his serious age, the plans of his expeditions are scheduled until 2030. The nearest plans include a flight across the Arctic Ocean in a hot air balloon, a 25 km ascent into the stratosphere, an 80-day circumnavigation of the world on solar energy without stopping at ports, an on-stop flight around the globe by plane, and a dive into the bottom of the Mariana Trench. During his life, Father Fyodor Konyakov has made more than 50 expeditions, four round-the-world travels, set 25 world records, went on the seven highest peaks of the six parts of the world, as well as both earthly poles. He became a priest on December 19, 2010. The ordination took place at the St. Nicholas Parish of the canonical Ukrainian Orthodox Church in Zaporozhye, the homeland of the famous traveler. In Kiev, at the so-called Bishop's Council of the uncanonical structure called the Kiev Patriarchate, it was announced that yet another group of old calendarists from Greece had been accepted into this organization. Filaret Denisenko and the other so-called bishops considered the appeal of the Greek metropolitan Chrysostomos Kallis, who asked to be received into Kiev Patriarchate with his clergy and parishes. 
Previously, the so-called Metropolitan Chrysostom was the bishop of the non-canonical Church of the True Orthodox Christians of Greece, which does not belong to the Greek Orthodox Church, but is a separate structure of the Old Calendarists. Let me remind you that in 1924, the Greek Old Calendarists did not recognize the transition to the new Julian calendar and split away from the canonical Greek Church. They are not recognized by any of the 15 local Orthodox churches. According to the experts, today there are about 800,000 old calendarists in Greece. Earlier in October of this year, another group of the Greek old calendarists, about 70 priests, 50 monks and 10 monasteries, had joined the Kiev Patriarchate. In the Greek society, the transition had provoked a lot of criticism against Patriarch Bartholomew of Constantinople, who, having recognized the so-called Orthodox Church of Ukraine, did not foresee that the Greek schismatics would join the jurisdiction of the Ukrainian schismatics. The Mihailovsky parish of the canonical Ukrainian Orthodox Church in the village of Moshkov has built a new church. Their previous church building was seized by schismatics from the so-called Orthodox Church of Ukraine back in 2019 and is now empty. After the seizure, believers started to pray in the open air at first, but then services began to be performed in an old house which was provided by a local resident. The construction of the new church began in 2020. According to the rector, priest Andrei Muliar, parishioners and donors from other villages greatly helped during the construction. The consecration of the new St. Michael's Church took place on the December 13th, the day of commemoration of the Holy Apostle Andrew the First Cold. Well, this is all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time on the Orthodox View.